What a pleasant Sunday morning. Coffee in my hand, kids asleep. Really enjoy the peace sometimes. Peace before the storm. <laughs> Maybe. So what's happening? Uh, I've been eating a lot in this lockdown and I'll, I'll need your help. Well, that's easy to fix, you know. Uh, we need to regulate uh, what and how much you eat. That's it. So yeah, that reminds me. Uh, my certification as a nutritionist and fitness consultant expired a, a couple of months back. Oh. So I might want to do something about it. Yeah, you see. should. Oh, on that note, um, you know, uh, when I thought, uh, I feel, you know, my work as a pediatric sleep coach and that of a nutritionist are so similar. What? Yeah. You're kidding, right? Not at all. Let me ask you a few questions and tell me if you're agree. Okay, let's see how it goes. Yeah. So, um, why do people go to a nutritionist? Uh, mostly to uh, lose some weight. Yeah. And they come to me to uh, fix their sleep problems once the child is born. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, do you have something like a one solution fit all kind of strategic solutions or strategies? Um, well, see, the underlying principles are uh, the same, but then um, uh, there is absolutely no uh, no no solution that fits all, because uh, you need to take into consideration the uh, the food preferences, the yeah. lifestyle, the habits, yeah. and the preferences of uh, the client. Absolutely. So even in my case. While the basics, you know, remain the same, like um, the sleep biology, you know, which, which is the science behind sleep, while it remains the same, a lot has to be customized based on the family preferences, leading the child better, knowing mm -hmm. what the issue exactly is, you know, doing the right kind of, you know, uh, problem, you know, identification, uh -huh. and then finding solutions which suit the family, which are sustainable, which can be practically, you know, followed. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, a lot goes into, you know, uh, customizing exactly. the, you know, solutions. So true, yeah. Yeah, so at least we are, you know, agreeing on one start. point. Okay, yeah. okay. so uh, when a person comes to you, what mm -hmm. kind of expectations, you know, do they have? Like, what is, you know, the success guarantee, you know? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, there is absolutely no certainty or guarantee, yeah. uh, you know, of, yeah. of success, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but having said that, the more you adhere, um, to the advice, to the plan, and the more you believe, yeah. um, you know that this is going to work out. Yeah. The more uh, probable you are of getting success, True. Um, sooner than later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yes, I think you know success guarantee depends on how you perceive success to be. Uh, for many people, you know, they feel sleeping through the night is like you know the achievement. That is my ultimate goal. But actually, that's like you know a developmental milestone right, exactly. which each baby achieves when you know at different ages exactly. but what i would say is a success is you know any uh, improvement in the sleep quality and quantity i would say is definitely a success and uh, because you know the way i work is i use a lot of gentle strategies I, it's baby led and these are age appropriate so i definitely don't go beyond what is biologically normal and you know, optimizing mm -hmm. the sleep in those limits. Like right. I, you know, for example, at a particular age, the baby is bound to sleep for say 12 hours. But, you know, getting those 12 hours, which, you know, at, you know, in, in the right intervals or, mm -hmm. you know, spacing exactly. them well, yeah. you know, which gives the parents, you know, a good amount of sleep as well and some rest. Right. That is something which I would say, you know, is a success mm -hmm. where the parents also are able to get some rest, just like the baby. So, yeah, I mean, just the way you cannot make a baby sleep like an adult, you know, just the way a baby cannot play cricket like an adult. Right. Uh, the success totally depends on how positive, you know, you are at the beginning, how, you know, how much you believe in, you know, the process and the way you start off and the way you implement. If you are able to, you know, uh, implement the suggestions like quickly, the quicker mm -hmm. you see positive results. Like I have, you know, clients who come to me even after two days of trying out, you know, the suggestions and they come up with, you know, positive results. So it all depends on how quickly you are able to bring in those changes in your lives. Right, right. Yeah. So there is no standard success rate or there is no something called as cookie cutter solution. Like one thing fits all and, you know, this is the time frame when you, you can expect. But yes, it's about how quickly you implement the suggestions. Right. And yeah, you are, you are bound to see a positive result. Interesting. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. So people must be asking you how soon or how many kilos do I lose? You know, what what do you suggest or what what right. do you suggest? 
Um, so yeah, I mean that's one of the most frequently asked questions. I'm right? sure. <laughs> yeah, because um, yeah, everybody wants to lose weight fast. Yeah. And a lot. Yeah. Right. Both. Uh, but the thing is, it, there are too many variables at play. Right. So you know, um, for the same um, body type, you know, which would look similar, uh, somebody might take a month to lose probably three kilograms. Yeah. Uh, but uh, somebody else might lose it even in a week. Right. Two. Uh, and the same holds good for time as well. Somebody yeah. might lose uh, their desired uh, objective of 10 kilograms, say, yeah. uh, in probably three months. Yeah. But somebody might take uh, five or six months for that, which is absolutely fine, right? True. That's True. the way things are. True. That's the way people should just accept uh, the way it is and keep sticking to basics and principles. Absolutely. I think that, you know, the crux is, you know, understanding the basics, reading right. the baby well, in my case, mm -hmm. understanding the baby needs. So, you know, it's easier to reciprocate. It's easier to meet the needs and, you know, have everybody happy around, have, you know, get better sleep and, you know, the whole day goes, you know, you, you are energetic, you are able to do things. Otherwise, if your sleep is, is gone for a toss, you, you are not able to focus during the day as well, which even we have experienced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, how soon, it, it again, you know, uh, depends on how soon are you able to make those little changes. Because these solutions, the solutions which I, you know, believe in, are gentle and are, you know, something very practical, doable, the sooner you do, the sooner you see a positive result. Right. Yeah, but you know, because lifestyle changes are gradual, you know, these are the things you have to bring in from a long-term perspective. Uh -huh. This is not something like a magic pill, exactly, you know, you yeah. meet me and you, you know, the baby starts sleeping throughout the night. Right. So it's not something, you know, like that. It's more about a gradual positive change, which gives you a good rest, good, you know, a good sleep, you know, a peace of mind, a state where you feel fresh mm -hmm. and you feel that yes, your baby is sleeping well, is doing well, is meeting milestones better, is happier in general, you know, the whole crying fussiness has reduced. So that is something which, you know, you will achieve gradually the, the way you implement the changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, also one important question how important, when we say, you know, the basics remain the same, uh -huh. the science remains the same, uh -huh. how important it is to choose the right professional? Yeah. So, like, how does it matter if I choose A nutritionist, B nutritionist? How does it matter? I mean, it is as important as it can get. Uh, because, uh, like I said, you know, uh, uh, I would prefer somebody who has a very strong, uh, you know, solid background, uh, yeah. strong scientific principles who know he, what he or she is talking about and is backed by research and claims. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, I think it's equally important to be connected and to be able to relate to the person in some ways, yeah. right? Uh, because if that's not the case, you might end up with a solution which really doesn't work and doesn't help. And it, it's no. trust me, it's equally frustrating for the nutritionist as well. I know. Um, yeah, so I think choosing the right person uh, is extremely important for it to work for yeah. both the yeah. professional as well as the client. Absolutely, because uh, even in you know in the sleep uh, sleep background, people have been trying numerous things you know over the years, and you know there are some people who believe in training the babies or crying out. You know, there's something called a cry out method, where you know the baby is left to cry, cry, cry till the baby gives up that you know anybody is gonna ever come, and um, these are the you know solutions which I totally don't believe in. Mm -hmm. So if a parent who believes in a cry out and comes to me for help, uh, we won't be a right match. Right. It won't work out for them. It won't, you know, it, it won't give me the satisfaction, right. you know. So choosing the right professional, you know, where, you know, your beliefs sink in, at least on a broad level. Okay. You And the person whom you are able to connect with, mm -hmm. you feel, you know, yes, person is able to understand. Mm -hmm. I think that is very important to you know see some success in what you are aiming for exactly yeah. and <clears throat> and when some things you know um, don't go the way they are you know there's either a mismatch of the beliefs or you know there's a flaw or, or there's a gap in implementation right like just the way you know when you know when you follow a diet plan to the t you see the results right and when you don't you feel you know there's a tendency of blaming the you know uh, person right. behind it but you right. know it's right. not the case it's, right. exactly. it's either the you know flaw in the implementation or right. there's a flaw of you know choosing the right profession exactly so i think that is really very important yeah so i think what we're really saying uh, is while um, you know something like a certification or academics definitely gives you a lot of credibility yeah but an ideological match Absolutely. is equally important very much well yeah i totally agree i see i mean um i think yeah i see your point you know um 
uh, I think looks like after all there are a lot of similarities between you know uh, what we discussed yeah. and uh, what I thought yeah. earlier. Absolutely. So in the sleep scenario, um, yeah, I mean uh, I am you know. Uh, Open College Network London qualified and I have also taken a certification from the US but you know uh, both these you know ideologies match they are uh -huh. gentle they are age appropriate uh -huh. they don't go beyond the biological normal right. and you know it I would be a right match for parents who also believe in mm. you know these yeah. principles right. so yeah I guess you know uh, we are on the same page yeah. now and let's get on with our plans now yeah I All think right. it will be up now. <laughs> <laughs>